Hi Disney friends, it's Amber with Mickey Travels. Welcome back. I have a video for you today that is going to tell you about all the updates that was happening at the Disney parks for April 2015. So let's take a look. We had quite a bit of announcements that happened this month. Uh, especially pertaining to some things that are going to be happening during the summer and a little bit during the fall. So first off, let's go to a little farther ahead. Uh, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party and Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party announced that their tickets for those events are now on sale. Um, Mickey's Not So <laughs> The Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party dates are in September and October and the September dates are going to be cheaper than the October dates. Looks like that they start from anywhere from $74 to adults, and I know that the Halloween day tickets are like $89 per adult. So whatever day you're interested in going, they are not every day. They tend to be twice or three times a week, and once you get closer to Halloween, they are more frequent. Uh, the prices will go up the closer you get to Halloween. A, the Halloween party is where you get to dress up and trick or treat in the parks. There's a special parade, uh, special fireworks, and it's there's some character meet and greets you can't get any other time. It's pretty cool because you get to a wear the costumes that you're not allowed to uh, during regular park hours. Adults included can dress up. You don't have to be anything Disney. You can just trick or treat as whatever you want. And the meet and greets are neat and it's cool that not everyone can be at this event. It's you know you have to have a special ticket for it. It starts at 7 p.m. However with your ticket you can get in at 4 p.m. So it's also maybe a good day to not visit a park in general that day and use your Mickey's Not So Scary ticket to enter at 4 p.m. to save a day of your tickets. Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party is very similar. Uh, they don't have, you don't get to dress up, but they do have the Christmas party. It does snow on Main Street and they offer hot cocoa and the cookies throughout the evening. Those dates are starting November 8th and go all the way up to, no it's not on Christmas, it stops before Christmas, December 18th. And the closer you get to Christmas, the higher it is. That December 18th date is $84 per adult. The kids' prices are $77 for that day, and a normal price for the Mickey's Not So Scary is $74 and $69 for kids. If you pre-order the tickets, they're going to be cheaper. If you wait till the day of the event, they're going to go up about $5 or so. Parties do tend to sell out, so you do want to buy those in advance. You can see all of the dates and all the prices on my Facebook page at Mickey Travels Amber Travis. Disney's newest location at Downtown Disney for a dining experience, which would be considered a signature dining, the Boathouse opened this month. It's not currently on the dining plan, and you have to call directly in to make reservations, but hopefully soon that those reservations will be able to be made online and the dining plan will be included. I'm assuming it's going to be two credits. The theme of the restaurant is a 30s, 40s, 50s boat dock type area. And besides the food, they do have some activities there. You can travel travel in the amphicars, the cars that like go in the water. That's about $75 per adult to travel in those. And they do have some special like couple experiences with like chocolate covered strawberries and whatnot. So it looks really cool that they're gonna have the dining, which is gonna be seafood-esque. And then you can take the water taxi and do a little ride as well. So again, the boathouse opened April 2015 and be checking for reservations to be opening up soon and it will probably be two credits on the Disney dining plan. Disney officially announced the celebrities are going to be at Star Wars weekends. There are five weekends to choose from and they are on Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays. Each week is going to have a specific celebrity that's going to be more popular than the others and so Disney has it set up to where at least every week you have a major character from the first series, you have some from the Rebels, and then you have some from the animated stuff. <laughs> I'm a, I am a Star Wars fan, a huge Star Wars fan, but I'm more the classic film person. And then the ones that came out in the 2000s and 90s, I love those. So I've got, uh, the six are my thing, I don't know much about the other ones. So I was really excited to see some of these celebrities announced because they were ones that had never been before. And it's always fun to read like message boards who they speculate is going to be there. But Weekend 1 is going to have Ian McDermott, who is the Emperor in all six of the original Star Wars movies. He's not going to be signing autographs, he's only doing the Stars of the Saga show that you can get fast passes for. The rest of the celebrities were returning people that have been there before. We've got Warwick Davis, Silas Carson is new, he's in week two. 
Daniel Logan, who is Boba Fett in the Clone Wars. Stephen Blum, who plays in Star Star Wars Rebels. Ray Park, the big one of the whole week where a lot of the Star Wars fans that go every year is looking forward to meeting is Frank Oz, who does Yoda. You may also know him from the Muppets and other things that he's done, but he is also Fozzie the Bear. That's, that's like the second thing I thought of when I heard he was coming. Frank Oz will not be signing autographs, but you can see him in a show just about him in week five, which that is June 12th through 14th. These events have fast passes and you are able to get a fast pass for a show. They were tier one. As of this video is being filmed, and I, we're not sure if this is a glitch or if this is gonna be permanent, but all of the shows started po popping up as tier two. So you could get two show fast passes and tier one, you could still get Toy Story or Rock and Roller Coaster. So it's kind of iffy that they would do that considering that the shows are going to be prime fast passes for these celebrities. So if you're going during Star Wars weekends, you might want to check your fast passes and maybe switch those to tier two. I haven't checked this morning, but as of yesterday, which was April 24th, I was able to switch some clients' fast passes to get them two shows and keep like Rock and Roller Coaster as their tier one. So with these Star Wars characters, these are just for the shows. You can meet some of them. The two major ones I mentioned, the Emperor and Yoda, are not going to be signing autographs, which was kind of a disappointment for some fans, but you can still see them in their shows. Um, I'm going to be doing a whole Star Wars Weekends video coming up in the next few weeks to show you and give you some tips if you are going to be going in May and June. When Disney announced the 24-hour summer party, they also announced that summer Frozen Summer Fun was going to be coming back. And a few weeks ago, Disney released the Frozen Fun Premium Package for guests who would like to experience a more close-knit Frozen experience while they're at Hollywood Studios for the Frozen Summer Fun event. Each fun premium package includes seeing Anna and Elsa in a reserved viewing for the Royal Princess Welcome. It is not a meet and greet, but you do get uh, drinks and ice cream while you're waiting in a specific area to watch that welcome show. It's like a very short parade when they come out. We saw it last summer. Two, you get reserved seating of your choice for the first time in forever Frozen sing-along celebration. And Frozen sing-along was down for refurb on fast passes, but they are now back up, especially for June. So if you missed out on that when you were making your fast pass reservations, go back and those should now be open. And you have a dessert party while you view the Frozen fireworks. This package is $69 for adults and $39 for children. So if you are going to Hollywood Studios during the summer and you have huge Frozen fans, this would be an experience that would be cool to get to experience first. I've said experience like 12 times. This would be a great way for your child to get up close and personal and get some cool Frozen desserts. I personally don't think it's worth the cost just to get to do what everyone else gets to do but have a better view of it. If maybe there was something more personal attached to it, I would think it would be worth it, like an actual meet and greet. But we can still only meet Anna and Elsa at Magic Kingdom. So I don't find this as something that would be worth the cost. But again, if you have the diehard Frozen fan, go for it. Sticking with the Frozen theme, they announced this month that they are going to be building a new theater specifically for Frozen events. It's going to be located between Rock and Roller Coaster and Tower of Terror. Uh, before they were doing the sing-along in the premiere theater, which I believe was back behind, I don't know why I'm pointing, you know, back there. It's back where the Studio Backlot Tour was being held, and then they moved some stuff to uh, where the American Idol is going to be, which I think this summer that's where that stuff's going to be. So they're going to be building a theater specifically for that and located between those two attractions. We had known that Hollywood Studios was going to be doing some renovating in the next few years because of the removal of the hat, the name change, the speculation of a Star Wars land. So be keeping up on my announcements and some other things on what's going to be happening there because we're excited to see this park expand. I think some of the attractions are a little out of date. I still call it MGM Studios, but there are some things there that are some of my favorite attractions, but it does need a little more attention with the dining, I think. There's only a few places to dine. Our favorite's there. Sci-Fi is one of our favorites. But you only have like one character experience, dining experience there, and there are only like three or four thrill rides for adults. And if you have young, young kids, you only can spend half a day there with the Disney Junior. So I think it is needed. it does need an update, so I'm hoping this is the start of some great things happening for Hollywood Studios. And the last thing, after I made my March video, Disney did announce the latest promotion, so I wasn't able to put that in the March video, so I thought I'd share here. 
Disney did release a summer promotion for up to 30% off your resort room stay. Those dates include June 16th all the way to August 27th, so if you are going to be visiting, oh my gosh, I'm stuttering so much. If you're going to be visiting Disney World anytime that summer and are staying on property, there is a current promotion. There is limited availability. I've been looking for some clients booking very last minute for June and there's not a whole lot we're finding. So you might want to get on that if you are going to be traveling the next few months. Or if you already had a Disney package, you need to maybe check to see if you got a promotion. If you have booked within the past 30 days, and it was any time of year, it doesn't have to be summer, um, and you're interested in some help, you can transfer your reservation to me and I can keep my eye out for promotions for you and help you with any planning services. There's no fee to transfer, and there's no fee to use my planning services either. So deluxe resorts are going to be about 30%. Uh, moderates are 20 to 25 depending on the dates they have they have it split I think if you're in August you're gonna get more of a discount it's with the 25 and then values are gonna be 15 and then 20 if you're in August there are some exclusions as always if you're wanting to stay at the art of animation in the Little Mermaid rooms I always try to remind clients that those have never been included in any Disney promotion so if you are hoping for free dining if you're hoping for a huge room promotion that room will always be excluded, so keep that in mind. Uh, the campsites are always excluded, and some of the three-bedroom villas are always excluded. Final day to book this reser this package for the promotion is June 12th, so you need to book for them to take advantage of this discount. Thanks for joining me today. I, if you have any questions about anything that I mentioned on my updates, just mention them down below. Uh, I've been doing a lot of research on Star Wars weekends. I can answer those questions. And the frozen summer, I've had exper personal experience with, I can answer those. And then of course, any questions about your vacation, planning, booking, any of that, I am happy to help you. And you can check out my Facebook page or email me at amber at mickeytravels.com and we can discuss booking a trip together or if you have just any simple questions. Thank you so much for watching and thanks so much for subscribing and liking my Facebook page. Uh, I've had huge increases in numbers. I appreciate you guys and the compliments I'm getting are great. Please keep watching. We've got a great amount of series coming up because summer is almost here and I'll be on vacation from my teaching job so I can hang out with you guys more. I will talk to you all really soon. Have a magical day. Bye.